What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to do a little bit of a project on my wheels. So recently I've been thinking about changing the wheel color from black to something maybe a little bit um, more of like a gunmetal shade. Um, and I'm thinking of getting the wheels actually powder coated, but before I do that, I wanted to see what they would look like a little bit lighter than what they are now, which is solid black. Um, so I actually got some plastic dip and I want to see if I can use some metalizer on it and it'll change the tint a little bit, see what it looks like. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. We're going to take a look at what my car would look like with gunmetal type wheels. So let's take a look at the car real quick. guys so I went through the process of actually taping off the wheels um, you can see them right here they're nice and clean um, I'm gonna do two at a time so I'm gonna get these wheels done right here um, I'm gonna spray them with the base coat of Plasti Dip and then I have the glossifier no, I'm sorry not the glossifier the uh, metallic uh, there's a name there's a specific name for it let's check metalizer so we're gonna hit it with the metalizer shortly after we get it done here. So we're gonna do at least three base coats, that way this is nice and easy to peel off. Um, eventually when we do peel it off and get it sent over to powder coating. Um, but I've got plenty of cans of Plasti Dip uh, that I had lying around from a project I had with the BMW back in the day. And then we're gonna spray it with this guy. So um, the more coats that you put on this, specifically with this one, the more silver that comes out, which uh, since it has a black base, it's gonna turn into a gunmetal. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys progressively as we paint coat by coat. So the very first coat is gonna be a real light dusting um, and it's gonna have a real light flake in it. And then as we progress to coat, you know, three, four, and five, um, it's actually gonna look like a real, um, uh, I don't wanna say dark gunmetal because it's silver, but it's gonna look like a real uh, light gunmetal. It'll look pretty cool. I've, I've seen a, a few videos on it, but. Um, let me go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod. We're going to get uh, straight into painting and uh, let's try to get this project knocked out today.
All right, guys, it is day two. As you can see, change the hat, change the shirt, check out the merch, Fahrenheit Motorsports merchandise. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. Uh, but in the meantime, it is day two. Reason why we're starting on day two is yesterday it was getting a little bit dark and I wanted you guys to actually take a look and see the detail um, in the metallic that popped out in this paint. So we're gonna get it painted right now. I'm gonna set you guys up. Um, I'm gonna show you coat after coat after coat. That way you guys can see the increase in the metallic color. Um, and then you guys can comment down below, see exactly you know what you like. Um, at some point, I'm gonna stop when I feel like it's good, whether or not that's uh, you know coat two or coat five. Um, but I want you guys to kind of join the process and see what you guys think looks best. Now, ultimately, of course, this is Plasti Dip. It's gonna come off anyways, but I wanna see how the wheels are gonna look before we actually get them powder coated to see if I'm actually gonna like the lighter color or if I wanna stick with the black. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started on painting it. And then, like I said, we're gonna stop coat after coat. I'm gonna inspect it with the camera. You guys are gonna take a look. Let's go take a look real quick and see what the wheels look like now after four coats of the flat black. All right, guys, so this is where we're at. They look almost identical to the way that I had them before. Uh, before they were a little bit glossy, now they are matte. Not a huge difference that you can tell um, on camera. But they are now ready for their final coats of the metallic. So I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and we are going to go through the process of getting these sparkly. So let's get it done. All right, boys, so coat number one is applied. Let's get in there, take a look, see for yourself. Little bits of metallic flake all inside there. It's barely noticeable, but it actually does look a little bit gunmetal in the light. Let me see if I can block some of this natural light coming in. Probably be able to see it really well in the sun. Let me check. Let me turn down the exposure to zero. So that is coat number one. Is that a spider? Let's take one of these out in the sun real quick so we can see what it looks like. All right guys, so this is in the sun. Take a look. So we're gonna go for one more coat. See if we can get it a little bit more of a lighter gunmetal color. Go from there.
So when you look at it in the sun, it actually looks like it's still black, but it actually looks like it's it's wet. Like I sprayed some sort of uh, like wheel and tire shine on it. What do you guys think? Thinking maybe we go one more coat, third coat, and see if we can make this a tad bit more silver. So let's try it again. Here we go. What do you guys think? So that's it in direct sunlight. So if we back away, it still kind of looks black. Um, but in direct sunlight, it's definitely a lot shinier. Here's some shade on it. Let me know what you guys think. Coat three coming out real real shiny dead center what do you guys think should we go one more tell me to stop right now in the comments so real quick before I go coat four, one thing I can tell immediately is that the center section obviously is got a little bit more concentrated paint from the sweeping back and forth on each one Every pass is going directly to the center. So if I do go one more coat, I'm just gonna stick to the outside. On just the spokes and then the outer section, just to kinda even it all out. So let's go one more pass and then we're gonna stop at four, maybe. boys so this is the final product with the four coats um, they actually do look very gunmetally they definitely have a sparkle to them which is what's gonna happen when you put on a, a metallic uh, overcoat like that but overall I mean they're they're not bad it's it's actually what I was kind of looking for here so Let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you like it uh, keep in mind th this is all removable so if you guys think this looks like absolute crap I totally get it it's just plasti dip um, but this can all go back to what I originally had nice clean black wheels um, but the goal is to actually see what the car would look like with uh, wheels that are a little bit lighter to see if I actually would like to do some sort of powder coating in the future and I'm a bit curious to see what lighter wheels would look like on my car because as you guys have seen in Instagram photos or even you know when I shoot video of the car uh, the car is so white that the camera picks it up um, in all its detail and the wheels look completely black you can't see them 
and they're actually really nice wheels so I want to be able to see the different contrasts and in, in curvature to the to each wheel so let me know let me know what you guys think uh, again this is four coats of the flat black plasti dip four coats of the uh, metallic uh, overcoat plasti dip and this is this is the final this is the final look at things so I'm gonna get these mounted to the car uh, they can suggest not to drive the vehicle for eight hours so I'm just gonna get them mounted to the car um, and then we'll leave the car sitting in the garage with the wheels baking in the heat um, and then I'll drive I'll drive the, the big boy around today so let's go ahead and get them uh, put back in the car and then we'll take one final shot of them inside the garage and then I'll see if I can try to capture um, some video for you guys tomorrow with the wheels on fully cured ready to go All right, boys, so here is the wheels on the car. As you can see, you can actually pick them up on camera now. A little bit of a shimmer to them. Again, it, it still kind of looks like they have some sort of uh, <laughs> tire wheel shine on them until you get in close. Let's see if we can get a side profile shot. So when you get close, that's when you notice the the gun metal. But from far away, it still looks pretty good. So we're gonna go take it out in the real world and we're gonna get some shots in the bright daytime sunlight. See if you guys can tell. In the sun, you're gonna notice there's gonna be lots of shiny spots, kind of like there is on this guy right here you can see the shine to it um, from my point of view not on camera it looks pretty pretty shiny um, but for you guys it may still look black so at least that's how it looks on the screen anyways but we're gonna go look in the sunlight and uh, we're gonna see what you guys think guys so that was the end of the video what did you guys think it actually turned out pretty well I was I was actually very proud of uh, the, the color that came out um, if you noticed I used about four cans of the plasti dip it's the flat black um, I covered each wheel about four coats um, and then I sprayed that metalizer on there is about three coats on there uh, but it came out pretty well I mean I could have gone you know all the way up to five and it would have been really shiny silver but I like the tone that it is right now um, I was very hesitant to um, paint the wheels even though you can remove it in one stretchy swoop um, I was hesitant to change the wheel color I mean I think black looks really good that was the original color I went with I'm um, I'm actually gonna do a powder coat to them next um, but instead of spending hundred and twenty five dollars per wheel it's easier just to spend 50 bucks on you know uh, seven cans of plasti dip and and take care of the wheels all at once it's pretty durable as well so um, let me know what you guys think uh, put some comments down below if you haven't been commenting throughout the video to stop on you know stage one stage two stage three let me know at the very end here what you guys think if you guys like it 
Um, give me a thumbs up on the video because it definitely does help the channel. Um, other than that, uh, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching so much. I have some really big things coming up um, in terms of the build for the vehicle. So stay tuned. Um, I'm, I'm going to be looking at doing some sort of Frankenstein uh, type of modification to the vehicle. Um, and I'm going to be doing that here soon. I have all the parts in the garage for it as well. So. Um, hopefully it works out if it does and you guys are gonna see a video if it doesn't then Unfortunately, you'll probably find out on Instagram if you're not on my Instagram um, It's JDM dreaming with an IN at the end instead of ING follow me on there um, You guys get to see a lot of the projects and pictures and stuff that I take before YouTube gets them um, But in the meantime you guys thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys um, have a great rest of your week stay safe and go Seahawks